All right, next, we have 2018's Marvel Studios Visual Dictionary. Hardcover. So, there is the front, and there is the bank. Hop on your TV so you can check this shit out. As I go over it, so we're gonna, oh, start at the index, so you know what the fuck is up. So, this is everything in this book, up to 2018. <sighs> so, did I like this book? Yeah, not really. I mean, eh, it just didn't really sit with me that well. I mean, I'm not offended by it. It's just one of those that just, it didn't click. Like, other visual guides are cool and they're really exciting. This one, to me, it's just shit. But maybe you like it because you're a diehard Marvel fan and you need this in your collection. But for me, it just, I won't be buying it because I don't need it that badly. So, yeah, not my cup of tea. Alright, so let's go to the beginning of this book. And there's everybody. And there's Nat. And there's more stuff. So, and there's Black Panther. It was written by Adam Bray. And your table of contents as well. It's interesting how they grouped all this together. But, eh, it's whatever to me. And that's it. And there's Iron Man. So you got your forward and your P Face by Victoria Alonzo, who did it in English and Spanish. And there's the Infinity Gauntlet. So there's Cap Shield, and you get a quote from him. Small synopsis, more synopsis, and then a breakdown of you know, all his exploits and all that shit. You get your data file and all that. I don't know, I just didn't really find this to be that cool. I don't know, I mean, the new Marvel stuff that's come out, it just doesn't really appeal to me as much as it should. But, eh, that's just me. I mean, there's some other people who haven't liked it as well. But, eh. Teach their own. I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't like. That's just pathetic. So, <clears throat> when you get this, and you look through this, everything will be labeled, you'll get different breakdowns. Like, for the... What is it, Tommy Gun? Yeah, Tommy Gun. You get recoil compensator, foregrip, mag clip, carrying strap, rear sight, buttstock, safety catch. And that goes for pretty much anything in this book. It'll have a label to it. Now, Peggy. Got Red Skull. I actually like Red Skull. Like, out of all the characters that I've seen, I like Red Skull. I like a good Nazi, I guess. <laughs> yep, that makes me a terrorist. And a racist and all that fun shit. Yep, totally. So. Yeah. And we got the Howling Commandos. And they're all labeled at the bottom, so you know who they are. Caps uniforms. Falcon. 
I look for them to release a new visual guide to include everything else that's coming out, but I don't think that'll be until after everything's done with. I guess, I don't know. Got Winter Soldier. So. This bullshit from <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> what a joke. Oh, come on. No. No. I still can't believe how shitty that film was. Oh, so bad. And then we got Iron Man. Quote as usual. <clears throat> um, and they have two page spreads that are uh, vertical. So you got vertical two page spreads, horizontal two page spreads. It's kind of annoying when you have to turn the book at the time, but eh, you get the point. The Ten Rings. <gasps> oh, oh, the Ten Rings. Oh, no. <gasps> what? Cool. Not just me being a fake fan. Sorry. <laughs> but I will go see Shang-Chi eventually. Hmm. And we got his suits and stuff. I don't know, Iron Man, not really one of my favorites out of Marvel. Pepper. Happy. Who's not really happy? War Machines Breakdowns. Obadiah Stane. It still amazes me that all the Marvel films that have come out are pretty much watered down concepts of the of the comics set up, which is so sad. But eh, some are good, some are bad. It's whatever. But if you're a diehard Marvel Studios fan and you gotta have this book, well, grab it up. You might enjoy it. Dragons. And he's pink skinned and peach. That's racist. Oh, I have to cancel him. Can't have that trash in here. Streamus. We got the real Mandarin right there. Awesome motherfucker. And we got Thor. His quote. Yeah, I don't know. Not Loki. I should have done the character encyclopedia instead, because this is a pain in my ass. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't know. I just don't feel the excitement with this book, you know? Like, some books, there's like, ooh, excitement, and this is just kind of like, eh. I mean, yeah, it gives you the basics on all the characters, and it breaks down what they're wearing, what they fight with, their data files, little info bits about them and stuff, but overall, it just doesn't really... I don't know. There's no excitement factor for me. There's my man. Wow, the sword's 5'4". Nice. 
Highlander blade. So, if you hate Marvel, this ain't for you. I don't really blame you about that either. I hate Marvel too sometimes. Like, this whole film setup, eh, I hate it. Especially Civil War. But, I've already done a video on that shit. But, nah. <clears throat> but, I don't know, this is more aimed at the kids, so... Yeah. That doesn't even look like Chris. <laughs> I think it's a stand-in. <sighs> Funny. Hello. But overall, I guess it's a decent book. But, eh. You be the judge. But I won't own this because it, it's not worth my money and it's not worth the shelf space. So. It is the about the same size as oh, there's the Avengers, my bad. Uh what is it the same size as? There's the team. Um the Star Wars um visual guide setup. There's Nick Fury. I do like the uh helicarrier, that's awesome. There's actually a Lego set for that, I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there's a Lego set for it. Uh, Hulk. Shame he's never naked when he fights. Like, shit. Big green ball swinging around. Cock, too. Mmm. Yeah. Even that is a watered-down version of Planet Hulk, which is really sad. Oh, my God. <sighs> wow. We got Black Widow. Another vertical spread. We got everybody's least favorite character, Hawkeye. <laughs> it's funny, like, on my time on Twitter, and I take conversations on there lightly, but feedback on Twitter is hilarious. People don't like Hawkeye for some reason. They're like, he's the weakest motherfucker in the group. I'm like, yeah. True. I mean, Legolas is a better candidate, to be honest. Just saying. <laughs> Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver. Ultron. I'm kind of surprised they did a book so early. You know, like, most film sets would have waited until after all of it was said and done. 
But, oh well. And we got the Infinity Stones. I got Infinity War. <clears throat> I got Ant Man. I don't like Ant Man. I didn't like the movie. The movie was good ish, but not the best. <laughs> Well, it's like I said, Marvel films are hit or miss with me. And fans as well. So. This it depends on what you like and what you want to roll with. I did like Ant-Man and the Wasp. That was a better, that was much better to watch. That was fun. That was a good sequel. Although, personally, this is just my opinion. I don't think every fucking superhero film that comes out needs a goddamn trilogy. Just saying. Yeah, Yellow Jacket. I liked Yellow Jacket. The suit was cool. But yeah, not ever. You don't need a goddamn trilogy to make a fucking character up. Black Panther. He's still alive. <sighs> I like that throne. I'd build that shit if I had my money. If I had money for it, I would. People of Wakanda. We're nearing the end of this book. Did I like Black Panther? Yeah. Black Panther was good shit. I really enjoyed it. I don't know. Earlier Marvel films that came out between late 2000s and the early 2010s, they just didn't really work too well for me. Um, actually got to do reviews on them assholes. Proud of that. <laughs> or I might have done reviews on them. I just got to dig them up off of Letterbox. But yeah. And she looks better bald than she does with hair, honestly. It's just, yeah, it's a sexier look. Nothing sexier than a bald black woman who knows her worth. And I liked Killmonger, too. And a Doctor Strange. He's got his jacket. His jacket from the trailer. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the same jacket. So now you got to go back and watch Doctor Strange and see where the jacket's at. So you're caught up and you know everything. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I don't know. I did like the movie Doctor Strange. I do see the issue with this, but I really don't fucking care, to be honest. I don't. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. And I'll explain more on that when I do the art book review for Doctor Strange. Because that's, an that's another long motherfucker to do. <laughs> Because that art book is like 344 pages, so that's going to be a two-part review. Just an FYI. Because I'm not going to sit here and do 344 pages in one run. Ah, yes. Look at that beautiful bastard. Do you know who that is? That's Perba. Yeah, not Davaroth. Perba. 
That's for us shadow fans. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that some fucking irony? They can't even be original. They gotta steal straight up off of the shadow. Really? <laughs> fucking stupid. The multiverse. Ah, the multiverse. Now, I've read the multiverse comics. They're pretty fucking good. From what I remember, I just haven't read them in a long time. But, yeah. Right, Guardians of the Galaxy. And, yeah, Volume 2 is the better seat, better film. One page. Thank you. Star Lord. Everybody's favorite dad. Ah. Hmm. I don't like the guardians. Nobody, honestly. I mean, it's in, they're a decent bunch, but I don't really have a favorite, per se. I just, I don't know. I mean, they're all unique, but then again, they're watered-down versions of themselves. Because that's how we do. <laughs> Fun fact, I have this gun as a keychain. Yep, it was a, um, what was it? it was a China or Japan exclusive. Um, I bought it, Christ, last decade when this was out. Because I liked the gun. I was like, that's cool, I want that. So, I have it. It's heavy. <laughs> Surprisingly, because it's got a little bit of weight to it. Off-brand Thor. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I think I know what the real problem is with the Marvel films today. Too much humor. Nah. Like, it's just too humor-based. It's like you don't need to crack a joke every fucking time. It just, I don't know, it doesn't... I don't know. It throws everything off for me. Because Marvel has its serious moments, and this is... Dark. <laughs> But, um, yeah, too much humor, honestly. It's like, you don't need humor all the time for to make it all work. Like, you can be serious and have a few jokes versus a bunch of jokes and less seriousness, which is just dumb. So, we're at the end again. Stop. And there's that. So, um, there's everybody that was involved in the project. So, you can check them out wherever, whenever. And there again. And that's it. So, uh, I will. Mm, yeah, I think I'm done for today. Yeah, I'm done for today. So, until next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.